And James, uh, what are you seeing, what are you hearing on, on the ground there? Give us a sense of uh, how things are, are in Lebanon. Well, like, uh, like in Israel, the Lebanese are yet to wake up to this news. I think this whole country knew that something was brewing. since Ever since uh, October 7th, it's been on edge, wondering if it's going to get pulled in to a wider war. But as Matt said there, absolutely, it might not be in their best interests to go to war. But because this is a tough neighborhood, that might be exactly what happened. And look, Hezbollah, who is the most powerful Iranian proxy uh, in this region, they could pull the whole of Lebanon into war. I mean, this is a country which has been decimated by an economic crisis. There was a massive uh, an explosion at the port here viewers may remember a few years ago which uh, crippled this country uh, economically politically uh, this country has been on its knees uh, for years and there's been a massive banking crisis which has uh, basically uh, you know completely uh, crippled a lot of regular working families who've seen their earnings and their savings completely dry up because the Lebanese pound uh, crashed and so this is just yet another chapter in this ongoing uh, crisis for Lebanon but they are powerless this country is powerless to stop Hezbollah because it is the most powerful force here, both militarily uh, and politically. And if Hezbollah decides to take Lebanon to war, that, exactly, that is exactly what happens. And as Matt says there, even if it's not in the best interest of this country, or Hezbollah for that matter, it'll happen in order to project strength. Hezbollah knows that Israel is an enormous uh, adversary, that, uh, that, that it would be really up against it if it decided to, to open another front. But there was a lot of speculation that, that is exactly what Hezbollah would want to do whilst Israel was engaged in the fight uh, in Gaza on October 8th. Uh, you know, Hezbollah launched a number of attacks into Israel. There's a real sense that, uh, that immediately uh, Israel would be under attack from uh, both, uh, both sides, from both uh, Hamas in Gaza and also from the north, uh, from here in Lebanon. And ever since, the border war has been bubbling. It's been getting more and more serious. There are more fighters, more Lebanese Hezbollah fighters that have been killed since October 7th fighting uh, Israel on the border than were in 2006 when there was a month-long war between uh, Israel and Lebanon, a, a, a formal war between uh, Hezbollah and, and, uh, and Israel. And, and so, look, we'll wait and see what the response is. But the Iranians said there would be a response. Within seconds, in fact, an Iranian uh, uh, official said. Um, so we'll see if it comes from here in, in Lebanon and Hezbollah. But with all that said, with all that uh, said about this, the sense that, you know, Hezbollah is such a huge ally to the Iranians, it is also the case that it's an independent force and it knows uh, that perhaps if it does decide to get itself involved, then it might spell disaster uh, for Hezbollah. They may not be ready for a full-scale war uh, with the Israelis, uh, even though this, this border war has been bubbling for some time. Uh, so we'll see if Hezbollah decides that now is the time. Uh, certainly they've been saying they're ready for war, although they do not want it, uh, but they may be forced to act. Uh, and so uh, one imagines that uh, when Iran uh, decides what its response to this will be, that Hezbollah officials will be part of that calculation. But Hezbollah has been fighting a war in Syria for some time. It is, has battle-hardened fighters uh, who, who, who are... It's a very different group to the one that Israel fought in 2006. So if Israel does decide to go up against Hezbollah or if Hezbollah decides to go up against Israel, then it would look very different to the war uh, back in 2006 because Hezbollah is a very different group to the one uh, that it was then. Uh, but like I said, uh, this is a region waking up to this news. We don't know the full scale of the attack uh, by, uh, by the Israelis, what exactly was hit in Iraq and Syria. It, it might be that the, the Americans feel, for instance, that, um, that, that, that this has been useful by the Israelis to hit targets in Iraq and Syria, specifically on groups that have been hitting U.S. troop, uh, US troop facilities in both of those countries. Um, uh, but the, the Iranians haven't done uh, uh, so much that they will escalate a wider war in this region. That's the hope, I think, anyway. And before I let you go, James, I'm just curious, when you've talked to uh, people there in Lebanon, is there a concern that the country is vulnerable, that they're going to be dragged into the, the crosshairs of this war? Potential war. Yeah, ever since October 7th, uh, I think the Lebanese have been absolutely concerned that this country could get dragged into a wider war. Look, the, the Lebanon has been, you know, I suppose, uh, at the mercy of Hezbollah for years, um, as their political institutions have been crumbling, as there's been massive corruption at the, at the heart of government in Lebanon, Hezbollah has been able to 
to show itself to be uh, the defender of uh, Lebanese integrity, if you like. It's in 2006, it, it kind of earned its stripes fighting against the Israelis. It, it saw that as a win. The Lebanese saw that as a win. And so ever since then, Hezbollah has become a much more powerful force here in the country. And there is every possibility that, this, that, that Lebanon could be dragged into a war with the uh, Israelis. I do think, though, that there is a lot of support among Arab people for Iran uh, in, in that kind of symbolic sense that Iran, for them, is the only region in this, in the only country in this region that's willing to take the fight uh, to Israel. I don't think people here are hungry for war. No one is, is calling for an all-out uh, uh, war that is going to pull every single country in this region in. But at the same time, there is a sense that their own governments have been very weak when responding to Israel. I think a lot of people felt that it was, uh, you know, for the Jordanians, for instance, to allow their airspace to be used uh, to even shoot down some of those drones from the Iranians. Uh, they were unhappy about that. They've been unhappy about Egypt basically not doing anything at all to help the people of Gaza uh, and be, in their eyes, uh, you know, kind of helping Israel in this fight against uh, against the, the Palestinians in Gaza. Uh, and so I think uh, there is a sense among Arab people that um, if, if their own governments aren't going to do anything, then at least Iran is taking the fight to Israel. What that means for Lebanon, though, is it could get dragged into a war which it really cannot afford. Lindsay? James Longman on the ground for us there in Lebanon. James, thank you.